back to my channel. So I have been getting questions on where some of my decor is from for fall. So I decided to film a quick kind of fall tour for you and tell you guys where things are from, the best that I can remember. And also, um, I just wanted to say that I decorate for like seasons and stuff just in the main level of our home. Um, I don't generally do the bathrooms or the bedrooms or um, Sometimes I'll do some stuff in our family room, but normally it's just like the kitchen, dining room, living room area of our home. We have, um, I don't know if they would call it a tri-level home, but it's basically like three levels plus a basement. Um, we have where it goes up the steps to our bedrooms and a bathroom, and then we have a short flight of steps down to our garage and our family room and our laundry room and another bathroom. Then below, this part you go down more steps for the basement I know it's a little confusing but I thought I would give you a kind of an idea um, of what level of the home you're looking at so I'm gonna go ahead and get started all right so here is our kitchen and I'm sorry the lighting can be a little funny in this corner but I'm gonna start over here um, as far as this towel right here that came from TJ Maxx um, the pie sign came from Big Lots. They had a lot of really cute farmhouse fall stuff this year and that was a find I found there and I thought that could actually be used like different times of the year. Um, this little guy right here was a yard sale find. These are from TJ Maxx. They were really inexpensive. The candles from TJ Maxx and this it's either from TJ Maxx or I've also gotten um, cotton stems from Michaels so one or the other and somebody asked me um, in a comment if how I do my candles I have a lot of candles like if they it smells weird well I tend to buy candles that have a similar smell or complementing smell so it's like kind of white pumpkin is what I get a lot of my candles in um, these buckets are something I leave here um, all year round and I was thinking about changing these for fall but I decided to just leave what um, I have in here I thought it kind of worked with fall and then I'll change it out for winter and Christmas so they're just on a little rod from Ikea down there and the buckets themselves are from Michaels and the stuff inside of those I think are from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is not necessarily fall, it's something else I leave here a lot but I've had questions about it. Um, it's a metal tray and that's from Hobby Lobby um, and then these are the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent stuff and you guys know you can get that from Grove. I have a link below for that. Um, to get some free products from Grove if you're new. Up here I have um, these pumpkins. I don't know where they came from. I think they were a second hand find. And then I just had put those little curtains up not that long ago for f fall and winter. Um, they are like napkins I think that I just put up there with a tension rod. Down here I pulled this in for fall and winter. It's a Jut runner rug and I have, it's from Amazon, I'll link that below. Over here in our dining room, um, this spot I keep uh, like potatoes and onions in those buckets but um, I put a couple things here. If you guys are unfamiliar with these, they are from Hearth in Hand. This is a sign that a friend of mine made. Um, she used to have an Etsy shop, but I don't think she does anymore. If she has anything left on it, I will link it below. She did signs and things like that. This pumpkin is from Walmart. I found a lot of pumpkins at Walmart because they were super, super inexpensive and they went with my color scheme. Then coming into our dining room, um, this sign right here is also from Walmart. It's in their fall decor section. It was really inexpensive. These guys right here actually my mom gave to me and I'm gonna guess that she got them at TJ Maxx. She generally buys a lot of stuff like this. She does things with food and catering and things like that, baking, and she generally finds things like that um, at TJ Maxx. The candle is a DW Home Candles from TJ Maxx. Again, probably either TJ Maxx or Michaels, one or the other, or, or Hobby Lobby. The pumpkins inside are so cool. They look like they're wooden, but they're actually not. And they are all from Walmart. They're like 98 cents at Walmart. So if you guys haven't went to Walmart to check them out, definitely go because I'm sure these will be picked out pretty quickly. Okay, then moving over here. Um, 
The tray is from Hobby Lobby. Um, the lamb's ear is from Hobby Lobby. The cotton stems obviously are where I mentioned. Then both of these are pumpkins from Walmart. Again, super inexpensive, super, super simple, um, easy table centerpiece. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble with keeping the stems in the tray. They wanna like plop out, but so far it's holding up pretty good. And we live in central Pennsylvania and we've been having a lot of heat waves yet and so um, that's why we have our air conditioners in still. Um, the only thing that's in here, you guys can see me over there, um, is this little piece and I got a bunch of these. They're actually from the Target dollar spot. Then moving into our living room, um, this little spot right here, the candles from TJ Maxx. Um, again, Target dollar spot for the greenery and these are also from the Target dollar spot. They're more of like a ceramic pumpkin. The pillow, oh, get it to focus. The pillow over here um, is from Big Lots, and I got that at a really good price. Um, this stuff right here, the pumpkin that is kind of like wooden looking, it's not actually wooden, but it's supposed to resemble wood, is from Big Lots. They had a lot of um, the green color that I was going with. I know somebody asked about that, of where I got all the green stuff. Um, this is one of those little pumpkins from the dollar spot as well. And then moving over here um, on this spot, again, this is from Big Lots. They, I loved the theme that they had there and that's kind of what I went with, um, pulling the greens and creams and gold and copper and white all together. This piece, um, I got this on clearance. I wanna say at, actually maybe at Big Lots. Um, a couple years ago. And then this is from Hobby Lobby, Flam's Ear. This is from Walmart, again, super cheap. Um, this candle is from Big Lots, it was with this stuff. So if you guys live near Big Lots, um, go check out their fall stuff. Then over here, um, these guys up here, I have a tutorial on how to do. I'll leave a pop-up somewhere for that. They're really easy to make. Um, and then I filled them with these little stems that were like corn husk. Um, very, very simple. I love the fact that I can be versatile with these. Last year, I had put wine corks in them. Um, this basket was a Target dollar spot a long time ago, but they do get them in. And then the these pumpkins are actually from Dollar Tree. And then these are some more of those wooden looking ones from Walmart. And so these are from Walmart as well. That hello sign is from Hobby Lobby. These little stems are from Michaels. I love stuff that I can pull out of one place and put into another. And the last thing I have to show you is my coffee bar. And it's out here in the kitchen around the corner. I really love decorating this for different seasons. And um, I'll start up here. So these are some more of the little wooden looking, like they're light. They're like a, I don't know, foam or something, but they look wooden um, from Walmart. I got a whole bunch of them because I knew I'd love them in different places. Um, that is from Home Goods. And a lot of this stuff I may not even have gotten this year, but. Um, you guys can probably find something similar to it at the store, these different stores. So this uh, letter board is from Hobby Lobby and it took me a while to find one that I really liked the size and the color of the frame and all of that. But that's where that's from. This is another one of those little guys from the Target dollar spot. This I made with a old cookie sheet. This here is actually, um, I was really excited to pull it out again and use it since it goes with my color scheme for a fall. Um, it's actually a piece that a friend of mine made and gave it to me for a bridal shower gift. Um, this piece is from Hobby Lobby. That picture frame is actually from Walmart. It's super, super cheap and what I did is I took sand, sorry, it's really getting bright, um, sandpaper and just distressed it. It was just a cheap, frame and I made it look a little bit neat, more neat um, by sanding it. And then down here I didn't do a whole lot other than add a candle from TJ Maxx. And these guys, I pulled them back out again too because they went with my color scheme. Um, but they are from Home Goods. And the tray is from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one or the other. Not sure where that came from. My mom actually gifted that to me. So yeah, I think that's everything. And I'm 
excited that you guys were interested in where things came from. I hope that you can go and find some of this stuff. Thanks a lot for watching today and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go check out my other videos and I will see you all in my next video.